Going on there guys, good evening. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this uh, Monday evening, January 17th, 2022, about 6.30 p.m. California time. And the uh, latest quake, a uh, 3.5 earthquake into the Puerto Rico area, it looks like, on the latest uh, USGS uh, indicator there on the globe. Let's go ahead and check out some details around the map with the uh, latest quake, of course, like I mentioned, 3.5, Dominican Republic. Okay, a little off there, but uh, within the same vicinity, pretty close to the Puerto Rico Trench region, where we have been seeing a little bit of movement over the last couple days or so within this area. Also some activity kicking up there on the southwest um, area of Puerto Rico. Uh, some threes and whatnot kicking up. Uh, eastern part of the state's pretty quiet throughout the uh, southern plains as well and northern plains. Not a whole lot of movement showing up on the uh, map far as earthquake activity goes. Uh, looking at the west coast here, we have seen a little bit of movement here along the northern part of California. And these guys are still not, I, I continue to say it, but they're still not reporting every single microquake that's been kicking up up here. I can probably add at least 10 or 15 earthquakes to this map. I've been watching those come into the live seismograph stations there at the Petrolia station, which sits right around here uh, all day. And uh, of course, you only see two earthquakes here on this map. Uh, there's definitely a lot more than the two uh, notified earthquakes from the USGS there. But uh, what can we do? Just got to go with the flow. Uh, Mount St. Helens and up around the Tacoma area, a little bit of activity ramping up. Nothing significant far as the trimmer map goes into the Pacific Northwest, looking at uh, 64 epicenters of trimmer, most of it confined down here to the southern end of the Cascadia uh, subduction zone, and uh, a little bit up there around the central coast of Washington. This is activity down dip of the subduction area, the Cascadia. Uh, so things kind of picking up a little bit, but still nothing significant going on, just 64 epicenters total. Uh, in this cluster of uh, trimmers throughout the day today. Uh, looking back at the USGS map here, uh, down through the Middle America Trench, all looks pretty quiet for now on the USGS scale. And also activity into the Peru Chile Trench. Seeing some movement uh, kick up there somewhat deep into the subduction zone there for a 4.0 at 235 kilometers. Uh, looking out to sea in the Pacific. Uh, out there on the Big Island, some activity ramping up here in the uh, southeast flank region. Also a little bit of movement up outside of the Kilauea uh, volcano. If you notice, things have dramatically calmed down here around the Kilauea volcano. I believe they're still underneath a pause of activity at the moment. Uh, following that, uh, well, the pause that occurred uh, in the uh, eruption there at Kilauea a couple nights ago. Let's go ahead and check out the latest from the Hawaiian Volcano uh, Observatory on the Kilauea Volcano. You can see still underneath a watch. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the, there's a little satellite view or um, image of it. I'm gonna go over here to the uh, updates and get the latest update here from these folks. Uh, we're still at a color code of orange and alert level of watch. This article was put out uh, today, Monday. January 17th, uh, summit eruption of Kilauea Volcano within the crater remains paused. All recent lava activity has been confined to the crater, and uh, once again, there are no indications of activity migrating elsewhere on Kilauea. So, uh, entering a pause stage at the moment, and also showing uh, no volcanic activity, or at least no earthquake activity within this region, uh, at least in the last 24 hours there. Uh, looking elsewhere through the Pacific, a little bit of movement across the Japan Trench, Kuro Kamchatka Trench, the southern end. Seen a 4.3 off the coast there of Russia, north of Japan. Uh, 35 point, uh, well, yeah, 35 kilometers for that earthquake, kind of in the uh, watch area. We've been waiting for something big to pop up here pretty soon, for quite a while actually, and uh, still, uh, still watching this region pretty closely for some possible large scale movement uh, down across the uh, Mariana Trench. Looks pretty quiet here, not a whole lot going on across the uh, Philippine plate as well as the Indonesia region, still pretty quiet across the Solomon Islands. Uh, we did see some deeper movement this morning into the Fiji region, covered that a little bit in the update uh, this morning and also around the Tonga area, a 5.0 at 42 kilometers. So still kind of keeping an eye on the Hunga Tonga volcano area, folks. I believe, uh, you know, just because we've seen one explosive eruption on a somewhat large scale, uh, does not necessarily mean that we're over. I was looking at a couple articles here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that was put out 
on a couple sites here about eruptions there at the Hunga Tonga volcano, uh, the caldera. <coughs> still, still got that tickle in my throat. Hold on a second here. And it seems to never go away. Alrighty. Uh, so what do we got here? Looking at uh, past big caldera eruptions, which is pretty much what we've seen there a couple nights ago uh, with that measurable 5.8 equivalent earthquake there at the Hunga Tonga. It happens about every 1,000 years with the last one around 1,000 or 1,100 CE. So that would pretty much put it right spot on uh, for the big one, which occurred a couple nights ago, <coughs> according to the uh, article here. And what these guys expect to happen, uh, they're still kind of in the middle of the major eruptive sequence and many aspects remain unclear, partly because the island is currently obscured by ash clouds. Okay, um, you know, they were doing a couple a little monitoring of this volcano days prior to this uh, to this uh, explosion, uh, this, you know, major eruption here. And it really wasn't any uh, uh, notification put out, no warning, si no warning system, if you will when it comes to the probability of this thing exploding like that. And, uh, you know, scientists are, you know, they're still trying to study it and trying to figure out exactly uh, how this played out and hopefully to give a, um, a little bit more of a warning uh, notification system if they were to see a heightened unrest once again in this area. Uh, there was some activity, uh, two earlier eruptions on the, the 20th of December last year and also the 13th. Uh, were of moderate size. They produced clouds of up to 17 kilometers elevation and added new land to the 2014-15 uh, combined island, which is now two separate islands. Uh, let's see here. There, I, I want to show you guys one more image here, and it kind of talks about the um, possible future eruptions here. It remains unclear if this is the climax of the eruption, meaning the, the, uh, the highest level, the peak. It represents a major magma pressure release, release, which may settle the system. Maybe, maybe not. A warning, however, lies in geological deposits from the volcano's previous eruptions. Uh, these complex sequences show each of the thousand-year major caldera eruptions episodes involved many separate explosion events. So not just one. We're talking, uh, looks like many they use the word many separate explosion events. So we could see um, here in the future further uh, large eruptions like we had seen. Now, I don't know if it's going to produce a tsunami or a, maybe a bigger one. Who knows? We'll have to keep an eye on it. So it's something worth monitoring uh, as these folks here, uh, professor of earth sciences, think uh, you know that there was many separate explos explosive events uh, back in the last um, explosion there at the Hunga Tonga volcano. So hence, we could be in for several weeks or even years of major volcanic unrest from the Hunga Tonga uh, volcano. And uh, of course, for the sake of the people of Tonga, uh, we hope not, right? It's a pretty big deal when those things happen. And uh, we just got to be on guard, stay alert, um, trying to keep up on top of this pretty closely. I'm still looking for a, a, a somewhat of a local seismograph station there in that reading in that uh, region so I can add on to the live stream, but it's uh, somewhat impossible at the moment. I don't think they have anything specifically mounted. Well, it, if it was, it's gone now uh, around that uh, volcano region out there in Tonga area. But uh, definitely on the top of my list here when it comes to monitoring uh, the activity that's going on there in Tonga. So just uh, FYI, we will continue to keep an eye on it and issue any updates if they become available, if things change there. I'm going to look at the uh, one area that has been on it pretty quickly is the tsunami.gov website. And these guys have been pretty quick. Whenever they're seeing uh, a little bit of uh, wave height differences and buoys out at sea around the Tonga volcano, uh, they're pretty quick to issue a tsunami advisory and whatnot. Uh, the last one was on the, uh, I think they had one yesterday, right? A little one that kind of popped up due to the uh, the uh, buoy gauge being above a certain trigger level. And uh, we haven't seen anything throughout the day here. But uh, as that article mentioned, we could be in store for some uh, more explosive eruptions here soon. But uh, these guys have been pretty quick at getting on the uh, activity and issuing uh, statements here. Uh, Tsunami.gov is the website for that. Uh, also, if you want to see uh, 
well, out to sea and then the buoys that they tend to monitor out there. Uh, this area, the station or this uh, website, NB, ndbc.noaa.gov is the National Data Buoy Center. Uh, it monitors uh, lots of buoys out there in the ocean uh, when they go into event modes and whatnot. They're pretty cool. If you go to click on them, you can see uh, the data and whatnot uh, on a scale. And you can also view some more details and whatnot as far as what they look like and the uh, the owners and all the other data that comes along with it. And uh, you can even go back certain years and dates and whatnot and measure measure excuse me the uh, differences in heights. But this is something that they monitor when it comes to issuing tsunami advisories and warnings. Uh, but, uh, you know, definitely uh, pay attention to what's going on out here, folks, because it could be an uh, interesting uh, future here with the Yunga Tonga volcano. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, rest of the globe here on the earthquake map. Not a whole lot going on uh, throughout the, uh, like I mentioned, the Philippine plate, pretty quiet. Of course, we had that Tonga uh, volcano, or the uh, 5.0 around the Tonga area earlier this morning. Uh, about 42.6 kilometers and the deeper movement up north here kind of indicator a possible uh, you know further recharging of the uh, volcano the magma uh, let's see what we got up here around Mongolia and Afghanistan seen some activity uh, throughout the day today nothing significant has changed since the update video kind of just uh, looking at some uh, continued movement there across the globe when it comes to the plate tectonics Yellowstone some activity out here around the Lake Yellowstone region Still missing uh, some data across the uh, rest of the uh, stations out here. You can see here on this map, on this chart, a little bit of earthquake activity throughout the day. Earlier in the day, we have not seen anything ramping up over the last couple hours. So uh, things kind of just mellow at the moment there at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'd like to check out Earthquakes Canada. I don't believe we've seen anything different here on this site either. Still uh, a little bit of activity up on the northwest part of uh, the uh, <clears throat> around the Alaska region. And some activity throughout the day down across the uh, BC area, a little bit further down and off the coast. But otherwise, the rest of Canada looking pretty quiet along the east and the northern ends. Haven't seen any further movement up here uh, lately in the last week or so. <clears throat> uh, EMSC models like to verify stuff here, right? USGS kind of slow at getting activity out. A little bit of movement it looks like around the Indonesia area. <clears throat> a couple of fours, a little bit more four activity than the uh, USGS is showing. <clears throat> and uh, a little 4.3 looks like the latest quake here around the India region happening uh, eh, just a little bit ago it looks like. 15 kilometers for that 4.3. Solar weather department, I was checking this out earlier, it has ramped up. I think it was, uh, let's see, this was really ramping up here. It looks a little bit more calmer now as far as the Aurora forecast goes. Expecting that to ramp up uh, um, on the KP indexes, but it never did. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a diminishing activity, at least for now, when it comes to the uh, uh, three-day ge geomagnetic forecast there for the storming. Uh, solar weather activity still remains relatively low, 65% chance of a C flare, 15% chance of an of a uh, M flare. Sunspot activity uh, kind of eh, kind of iffy, not looking too significant there on uh, any of the charts at the moment. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here, enjoy the evening, and uh, like I said, something changes here pretty quickly on the Tonga situation. I will be. Uh, uh, no doubt on top of it uh, when it comes to jumping over here to the coast. I kind of want to see, uh, uh, I was kind of hoping to see some tsunami waves the other day when we uh, went out there to the coast. We've seen some rather large waves um, during the low tide uh, time frame, but uh, they were they were pretty gnarly there. There's some, some uh, waves kicking up pretty significantly out there around the Fort Bragg area. Uh, during the tsunami advisory, but uh, I, d I definitely want to be out there for uh, something a little bit more bigger. But of course, not putting myself in danger. And uh, of course, we'll be safe as always when we go out there and uh, do on location events. But uh, let's hope, let's hope that uh, doesn't happen. But uh, you know, it could be, could be picking up here pretty soon with the uh, ongoing activity there at the Hunga uh, Tonga volcano region. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe. Good night. We will chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Live stream is up and running as it always is. 
Uh, it may go down at times, but I guarantee you it's going to come right back up. Uh, what else we got? That's that's about it, folks. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll see, uh, see what Mother Nature has in store. Take care, guys. Peace out.